friends this video on chemical coordination and integration part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com no more fear from exam now it is time to look at some of the questions so i hope that this lesson would have helped you because i'm not going to take up all the questions because most of them have already been answered while i was uh, teaching the lesson so let us look at some of the questions here question number one list the hormones secreted by the following Hypothalamus. So what are the hormones secreted by hypothalamus? So if you talk about hypothalamus, they secrete two types of hormones. One is the releasing hormones, that is the hormone. So the hormones that those are secreted by hypothalamus are the releasing hormones and the inhibiting hormones. Right. So what do they do? The releasing hormones actually uh, tell the pituitary to release the pituitary hormones. Similarly, the inhibiting hormones actually tell the pituitary to stop releasing any more hormones. So these are the two types of hormones which are secreted by the hypothalamus. Next is the pituitary. Pituitary, the master gland. So it secretes a lot of hormones so that these hormones in turn can control the other uh, glands of the body. So some of the hormones secreted by pituitary are the growth hormone, the luteinizing hormone, the thyroid stimulating hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, ACTH that is adrenocorticotrophic hormone, prolactin. So these are the hormones which are secreted by the pituitary. So mostly the, most of them are secreted by the anterior pituitary other than this the posterior pituitary also secretes the oxytocin and vasopressin. Next is the thyroid. So thyroid secretes the thyroxine that is T3, T4, TCT that is thyrocalcitonin. Parathyroid. So parathyroid secretes parathormone. So which is often written as P -R -P -T -H or, or you can write it the complete name parathormone because not many people are aware of the short forms of many of the hormones. Next is the adrenal. Now adrenal again, the adrenal medulla secretes the adrenaline, noradrenaline, adrenaline and noradrenaline. These are secreted by the adrenal medulla. And what about the adrenal cortex? It secretes the corticoids and in corticoids you again have so many types, glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, etc. Pancreas. In pancreas, we talk about the islets of Langerhans and it secretes two very important hormones that is insulin and glucagon. Next is the testis. Testis secretes the male androgen that is the testosterone. Ovary which secretes the female hormones that is the estrogen and the progesterone estrogen and progesterone so estrogen takes care of all the female uh, sex organs all the female behaviors the female secondary sexual characters and progesterone takes care of things uh, related to pregnancy thymus gland so it releases the hormone called thymosin which builds up the immune system Atrium, what does it release? Atrium releases the atrial natriuretic factor, which is also known as ANF in short form. That is atrial natriuretic factor, often called ANF. Kidney, so what does the kidney secrete? It secretes erythropoietin. So erythropoietin is secreted by kidney. And the GI tract, that is the gastrointestinal tract, again it secretes a lot of hormones like the gastrin, the secretin, the CCK, that is the cholecystokinin. So these are some of the hormones secreted by the gastrointestinal tract. Let us look at the next question. Fill in the blanks. Hormones target glands. So now you have to tell which are the target glands for these hormones. So hypothalamic hormones. Now hypothalamic hormones control which gland? Pituitary gland. So their target gland is going to be pituitary. Next is the thyrotropin or TSH, thyroid stimulating hormones. So, thyrotropin is just another name for TSH. So which is the uh, target gland? It is secreted by the pituitary but it, it targets the thyroid gland. 
because it uh, it wants to control the secretion of the thyroid hormones from the thyroid gland corticotropin that is adrenocorticotropin hormone which is again secreted by the pituitary and which is the target gland the target gland is the adrenal cortex so adrenal cortex is going to be the target gland because it will target this gland so that it can regulate the secretion of hormones from this gland gonadotropins so gonadotropins what does it do so gonadotropins will actually that is lh and fsh so their target organs are going to be the ovaries and the testes so that it can regulate the secretion of testosterone progesterone and estrogen from these organs melanotropin the target gland is going to be the pineal gland and therefore it, that is how it will regulate the secretion of the melanotin from the pineal gland let us look at question number 3 give examples of hyperglycemic hormone and hypoglycemic hormone so hyper means more glycemic that is more glucose so whenever you say more glucose in the blood that means the hormone which increases the level of glucose in blood and that is glucagon and just the opposite of glucagon is hypoglycemic which is nothing but insulin hypercalcemic hormone a hormone which increases the level of calcium in the blood what is that hormone it is parathormone which is secreted by the parathyroid gland gonadotropic hormones that is those which actually stimulates the gonadal activity like the lh luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone progestational hormone so this hormone is the one which supports during pregnancy and that is progesterone blood pressure lowering hormone now which hormone lowers the blood pressure this is very important this is noradrenaline which is released by the adrenal medulla androgens and estrogens so examples of androgen would be the testosterone testosterone of course is an example of androgen estrogen example of estrogen would be estradiol so these are examples of all these hormones question number 4 which hormonal deficiency is responsible for the following diabetes mellitus as i have mentioned before also deficiency of what will cause increase of glucose level in the blood insulin so deficiency of insulin will cause diabetes goiter will be caused due to deficiency of iodine so iodine impacts which hormone it impacts the thyroid hormones so you can say the thyroxins the t3 or the t4 so it will impact the thyroid hormones cretinism again is caused due to deficiency of the thyroid hormones so in cretinism there will be retarded mental and physical growth of children now question number 5 match the following so you have a couple of things in column 1 and column 2 and you have to match them t4 t4 is a thyroid hormone right so it will map with thyroid pth is the parath hormone so which is secreted by the parathyroid so it will match with 4 GnRH that is gonadotropin releasing hormone now releasing hormones are released by the hypothalamus so it will match with 1 LH that is luteinizing hormone which is secreted by the pituitary so it will match with 3 so with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and i hope that uh, the this lesson would have helped you and this way we have also reached towards the end of the lesson of our class 11th so see you all in class 12th biology lessons thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again